Hey, it's Max Carter and Nick Bernacci at Serious Software. And this will be our third and final video in the Billboard series, in which we will be covering processing the batch. Let's take a look. Welcome to session three of the Billboard series, Order Processing. Processing recurring orders is actually a report function and is key to the system preset recurrence type. All those cycle types on the Billboard pricing form mirrors the recurrence type. They are not the same. Please understand the recurrence type must be selected on the recurrence tab for the template to be recognized by the report function. It is noteworthy that recurring orders are not restricted to use in the Billboard product and can be set up by the user for other purposes. That function, however, is outside the scope of this discussion. Let's first break it down into steps and then view a macro that automates the process. We completed a pricing form in session 2 and saved it as a recurring order. If we look at our explorer, we find that recurring orders are distinctly separate from orders. As stated, they are simply templates. They do not have a status and they do not affect any financial transaction. We will select the order we created and review the settings. Double click on the line item to view the pricing form. You will see that cycle type is set to 28 day lease. This selection drives the date calculations and mirrors the recurrence type for continuity, but is not recognized by the report function. We will close the pricing form and look at the recurrence tab where the recurrence type is also set to 28 day billboard lease. Recurrence tab, here, the recurrence type is also set to the 28-day billboard lease. This and only this selection will determine if the template is processed. As part of the report function, the start and end dates are used to filter out templates that exclude the date the report is run. This allows a user to create a template in advance of the order, knowing that it will be executed when valid and cease when it is complete. Please note that the templates remain in the system unless or until they are manually deleted. If we are to run the report for the 28-day billboard lease at this point, it would locate all recurring orders for templates with the recurrence type set to 28-day billboard lease. Then exclude any with the start date after today or end date before today, and create a new order with the remaining templates with an order dated today and a status of WIP. We would then locate those orders, change the status to fail, and then produce an invoice for each. All the orders created are now accounts receivable. We would then individually review each invoice for instructions to process payment or distribute. Invoices without specific payment instructions would be mailed or emailed to the customer and remain typical accounts receivable. Those with specific payment instructions would be individually processed and a copy of the invoice then mailed or emailed to the customer. This completes the processing. A macro for 28-day leases is included and automates this process. Select Marketing Home from the main menu. To demonstrate the simplicity, we will select Run Macro. Expand the category for Order Macros. And select a Billboard 28-day lease from the list and hit OK. Then retrieve the printed invoices from the printer. Distribution and payment processing of the invoices is still a manual operation. The average user does not need to be concerned with how the macro functions. However, we will detail this operation so that the appropriate personnel can see what options are available and what would be modifications is home for another recurrence type. For marketing homepage, select Macro Setup to view the sample. Expand the category for Order Macros and select Billboard 28 Day Lease. The screen will display the Description tab for the macro which will provide the macro statistics. Move to the Trigger tab. The macro is set to allow a user to manually run the macro. Now select the Action tab and take note of the subtabs. The first being Prompt to Begin. This option has been set inactive and the macro runs without confirmation. The Create Order tab initiates the Recurring Orders Report function. The Select Orders tab runs another macro that we will cover in a moment. The Mark Sales action changes the status of all selected orders to sale. The Print Invoice action prints the selected system invoice report for all orders selected. 
The macro may be edited if selection with a different invoice is desired. The final action is notify of completion, which has also been set inactive. Moving back to the Select Orders tab, we need to isolate the 28-day billboard orders created by the reports function from all orders in WIP by running a query. Each query runs in its own macro, which then can be followed by this or another procedure. The macro field on the Select Orders tab displays the name of the macro it will call. Ours is titled, Today's Billboard Orders. In the first column of Macro Setup, we see the actual macro. Highlight Today's Billboard Orders and go to the Trigger tab. You will see this macro initiates the Billboard Orders query. To use a query, we will return to the Marketing Home and select Advanced Query Setup. Expand the category for Order Queries and select Billboard Orders. The query first looks at WIP, filters down to only orders with created date of today, and further filters down to the list to only orders which contain the Billboard Lease product. This ensures that under the orders created by this macro are changed to sale with invoices printed. Let's return to Macro Setup. To clone this macro, highlight 28-day billboard lease. From the action toolbar on the right, select clone. Edit a name. We will use monthly billboard lease. From here, you will move to the action toolbar and select the create orders tab. From there, you will open the selection list for the recurrence type and select Monthly. Select Save from the Action Toolbar on the right, and we are done. This concludes Session 3 of the Billboard Lease series.